Today I am going to teach you how to use text features to understand new words. We have spent the last couple of weeks really focusing on what nonfiction is, what it looks like, and how authors and illustrators create it. Nonfiction books are fun to read because they are packed full of new information that really helps us learn all about a topic. Because this information may be new to us, there are some words we might not have seen before. That's one of the awesome things about reading nonfiction books. You get to learn new words. Whenever you come to a new word that you may not have seen before, it's a good idea to use the text features to help you answer questions about the new word. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here are some of the nonfiction features we have practiced looking at. Each of these features will help you to figure out what new words mean. On this page, it says, flamingos are birds. They live in colonies or flocks that can have thousands of flamingos. I can see that colonies and flocks are new words. To figure out what the word means, I'm going to take a look at the picture. I see a large group of flamingos. I also notice this fact. It says that flocks can have a thousand flamingos. This tells me that a flock must be a large group. On this page, it says that flamingos have webbed feet. Looking at the photograph, I can see what exactly webbed feet are. Flamingos do not have toes like you and I, but they have this webbing spread across their foot. Sometimes the author will tell you exactly what the word means in their writing. On this page, it says flamingos are oviparous animals. That means they lay eggs. Right here on the page, it tells me that oviparous means someone who lays eggs. And finally, on the last page, it says adult flamingos get their stunning color from the food they eat. They eat foods such as shrimp that are rich in carotenoid. That is why their feathers are pink. Carotenoid is a new word, but from using the clues on the page, it makes me think that carotenoid is something inside the food that makes the animal turn pink. Another place where I can look to figure out new words is the glossary. You can find the glossary in the back of your book. It lists each of the new words that the author wanted to teach you and it tells you its definition. So here's our word carotenoid and it says red and yellow coloring found inside some plants and animals. Today and every day, when you are reading a nonfiction book and you come to a word you do not understand, try to use the text features to help you understand what the word means.